What's going on, guys? Today I'm here with the Retrobit uh, RDP. Had this thing for quite some time. Uh, eh, I never really did a video on it, so I just figured I'd do a video since it's like 110 outside, so I can't really go outside. Um, so I just figured I'd make a quick video on it. This is a pretty cool console, guys, but I, if you ask me, do I think it's worth buying this? in the year 2022 no which is almost 2023 it's just i don't think so guys um and you'll see right now but it's a really cool console i got a whole bunch of things that it's supposed to be compatible with this um supposedly okay super nintendo obviously game boy and this was the other game boy player gba uh Sega Gen, uh, Sega itself, and NES. So it's supposed to play all of those guys. And that's a lot, a lot of consoles. That's seriously a lot. Just with Super Nintendo alone, you're, you're pretty good. You're pretty good to go. I have some light right here to make sure it's... Uh, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, open this guy up look we'll take a quick look at the box you know just a quick look yeah so we'll take a quick look and you can see it's pretty basic we got HD TV there um, NES SNES and that's pretty much it it just claims to play those two but then we look here and uh, you can see Compatible with Genesis games by buying this adapter, which is this adapter here And if you guys ever seen these adapters, they usually get plugged in right here Your AV out is there, but this thing is compatible with it So uh, it works automatically. You don't need to connect this to it to make it show up on that screen there So I thought that was pretty cool. So let's see what's going on in the back Nothing much, just version 2.0. The RDP stands for Retro Dual Portable. Uh, that's pretty basic, guys, the box. Nothing really much to see here. So let's go ahead and get this guy open because that's what we're really worried about. Okay. We're greeted with a nice little manual here. Pretty good. I'm not going to go through that. So I'm going to put that there. We got the console itself. It's just the all black version. Um, we'll take this out first. This is our NES adapter. So this is SNES or SNES to NES. That's an adapter they give you. So we'll go ahead and just put that right here. Uh, some cables that go to your uh, TV audio video. So I believe that is a, a RCA to... Uh, not I was gonna say Claxo, but it's uh, auxiliary. So uh, let's go ahead and put those over here. We get this here adapter. So we get an adapter to connect our own controllers to it. Your actual um, your actual Super Nintendo controllers can be connected to this. So I thought that was another upside about it. And a charger here. So this is the charger for it. It is rechargeable. Um, does have rechargeable batteries. It comes with these two screws and this here. And this is what holds it so it can stand up. So I'll show you how that works. But mine, mine broke. I, I used to uh, leave it out a lot and it got people just lean their weight on it and my kids did and friends and everyone leaned on it and uh they broke they broke these little these little guys in the back so i'll show you when we get there so here's the console itself i'm gonna pull that out of here it's a pretty nice console guys pretty nice so uh, let's go ahead and take this off all right so there's that. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So we'll leave that right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
start testing this guys we're gonna start testing it fast so I don't want the video to be too long and these are quite a bundle of uh, it's quite a little bundle here of what it's compatible with it's practically compatible with all the consoles from back in the day I mean we got Sega and uh, these adapters here so let's go ahead and try it I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out and we'll get started all right guys so I got rid of some of the light it's a little shadowy but I think it should be able to work you know, we'll start it off with a Super Nintendo. This is my uh, Super Nintendo EverDrive. Like an EverDrive, it's pretty much the same thing, guys. It's an EverDrive. It plays, you know, all Super Nintendo games. So let's go ahead and I'll pop that in here. Flip the switch on. And it, it is a little dirty, guys. So some things may not run. You know, I have to keep blowing in there. And try it. I'm going to go ahead and kill this light as well. And you can see here what we're left with. And this is why, guys, I don't want... This is why I said it's not really worth buying in 2022. Look at that picture. It's not the best picture. But I guess it'll get the job done, you know? All right. Yeah, I told you, it's, it's a little dirty. Haven't used it in such a long time. And then you just go ahead and look at your games. And then you can see that is loading up. So we'll let that SNES game load up. Yeah, it's still it's still loading up. I can see it. Oh, I think I ruined it, guys. I did. I ruined it when I put it down. So I'm gonna have to put something here. Let me let me try this again. My bad, it didn't ruin it. It's just taking a long time. I thought that I had moved the cartridge. Okay. See that? It looks pretty good too. It looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna get rid of some more light, guys. More light. Because and then you can't really see what's going on. So I'm gonna try to get rid of as much light as I can. All right, that's good enough. You can hear it, it's working. And here's the picture. So here's our picture here. And this uh, this is pretty basic, guys. Pretty basic uh, handheld here. I know I didn't go over it with you guys, but it is identical to a regular SNES controller so we got our two uh, trigger buttons here our bumpers I should say d-pad uh, your, rec your regular buttons you would have X Y B see that in a uh, we got start select and this is a reset button so if I press that it will reset it so it's pretty basic pretty basic so I'm gonna go Show you guys how it works okay so we'll go in let's see if I could get this a little better I mean it, it does look better in person guys it's not blurry in person it's just not bright enough that's why I don't care for it it's not as bright as it should be, you know?
so you guys get it super nintendo does run good guys so that's a that's a really good upside i mean you can play all your snes games pretty good uh now let's go ahead and try it with this adapter real fast so i'm going to go ahead and connect this adapter here so the adapter goes right into here guys like so and then here's our wireless retro bit controller so i'm going to go ahead and pop that into player one turn the console back on and uh, let's hope it works yeah it's working guys so let me go ahead and turn this off again and now you can see i'm moving it around with this Everything working okay over here? See that's loading it up. And it's a lot faster with just your regular SNES game. I mean, yeah, it's just a lot faster, guys, if you don't have a... Oh, I'm pressing that and it's not on that. No wonder I'm trying to use that and I already have this controller connected to it. It's not very loud neither. So this is this button, if I press it once, it gets lower the screen, lower, and then it goes off. That's if you have it connected to your TV. Just press it again. There you go, you got it. Um, if I hold it for a long time, it resets the entire console. And then you got your start and select there. Not bad. Pretty cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and swamp up and let's see how Sega Genesis works on this. So let's take this out, grab the adapter. I hope I don't have any issues today, guys, because I was having issues with this thing last time. Um, so let me go ahead and pop this on. Okay. You see, because it gets all big and heavy, and it starts pulling the cart backwards because it's so heavy. So let me get this running, guys. It's going to take me a while. Not a while, but a few seconds. All right, guys, I got it running. I couldn't get that game running. Must be my game must be dirty or something. Or it, this thing is just kind of picky. This this Sega adapter is a bit picky, guys. It won't even run my EverDrive. It'll run a China EverDrive, but it won't run my. Uh, I think it's Stone Age. It won't run the Stone Age one. The be the real EverDrive. So here's Batman right now. You guys could see it's running. So I'm straight playing Sega on a Super Nintendo handheld. Not really too sure about the buttons, guys. But you guys could see the the screen is not high def, guys. It's just not. I mean, it looks a that's pretty that's pretty good. So it looks okay, but it's just not. It's just not enough, guys. So, let me go ahead and, uh, we've seen Sega. Let's grab another Sega game. Alright, so here's another Sega Genesis game. See how long it gets? It's long, so it, like, pulls on the, on the teeth, you know, of the, the cartridge teeth. And, uh, that's what makes it move around, and sometimes I cannot get it to work. Because it's so, it's heavy. It's pulling the cartridge backwards. And the volume is maxed out too, guys. So it's just a low console. 
All right. So we seen super. We seen this. Let's just see if we could get a Game Boy Advance. All right, guys. I had to go grab some games. I forgot to grab those. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna try the Game Boy Advance. Not yet. Let's try the Super Nintendo. NES one first, and I mean, uh, man, I can't find none of my words today. Let's try the Game Boy. And if you're looking for a Game Boy player, buy the Japanese one. Really cheap, guys. A lot cheaper than the American one. And it looks a whole lot better. So let's see if this works. Let me go ahead and turn this light off. Might have to blow it a little bit. Looks like we got nothing. All right, guys, man, that took a, a little bit of a blowing. It's because they need to be cleaned. Everything's just been left. But I have it in drawers, so it's not like super, super full of them. Let's see. I forgot where the volume button is on this thing. There we go, it's a volume slider. So I got this game running and it looks, it looks great, guys, it does. I just need to go over and clean all of these with a 1UP card or something and uh, everything will work on demand. Without me having to blow so much into it. See that? That looks great. Let's put it up. It's a little loud though. It looks good. It looks pretty good. It looks a whole lot better playing the, the Game Boy games, guys. Looks pretty good. I like that. That looks pretty good. I know it doesn't look too good for you guys, but it does look better in person. All right, let's see if I could get a, another game to work. All right, so here's another game. Looks like it's gonna work. Looks good already. You can see it looks good. It looks a whole lot better in person, guys. I mean, it does. It looks pretty good. I like the way it looks when playing uh, Game Boy games. It looks absolutely great. So you guys get it, it does work. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna pull this game out of here. Let's get some more light on the scene. Let's uh, move this. Let's grab the adapter for this. And if you were using this on an uh, original, you would need to plug the AV into your TV if you're using this on an actual uh, SNES. Yeah, so let's see if I could get this to work. Let's get a game here. Let's pop the game in there. Pop this in here. And uh, let's hope it works. Let's kill some of this light. It looks like it worked. I don't really have problems connecting um, this, this Game Boy Advance player. It just, it wants to work on it. And uh, we'll go ahead and check it out. Oh man, I'm pressing B instead. Look at that, that looks pretty good. Kinda of forgot how good it looks. This is not so bad, it's not. It's even pretty bright. This game is extremely hard to play, guys. Pretty difficult to play this game, but that's how it looks. It looks pretty good. All 
Alright. Let's try another Game Boy Advance game. Let me see what do we got here. Some Castlevania. Or, uh... Fantastic Four, is that what that is? Oh, wow. So, see, it, it works pretty good on the Game Boy Advance player, but... Uh, the Sega one, it kind of didn't want to let me play, but it, it did. It worked. It just needs more time to be used with it. But the NES player, guys, that one's going to be a difficult one. I know it is. Because even when I first bought it, it was a bit difficult. Man, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, guys. Not even playing. Let's see if I just press start. So it's showing you how they all became infected and now they're all superheroes. Okay, come on. Good God, can I play already? I hate these games that do this. So it looks pretty good. It looks very good. Let's go ahead and take that out. And let me pop in Castlevania. Looks like that ain't gonna run. All right, got it running. Just a quick little blowing worked. I already know I'm gonna hear a whole bunch of stuff about uh, blowing into the cartridges, but I, I just don't really think so. I mean, I've been blowing into these cartridges forever. And uh, this is the only console that I really need to blow into. It's because it's it's been sitting for a while, guys. But uh, these games pretty much work on demand in my Game Boy Advance and stuff. There's no... Uh, I don't even need to blow into them. I keep my games in a safe place. Away from the dust and cat hair and stuff. So you guys can see. it's It's running and it looks pretty good. It, it seems like... Uh, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy games look pretty good on here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out. Let's take that out. So we've seen that work. Let's try a regular Nint Super Nintendo game. Just a regular one. Pop that in. I shouldn't need to blow it. I have a dust guard for it. See that? Okay, so if I just go through here, I could just choose a game real quick. And I'll just choose any one, guys. I don't want to wait too long. Cool spot. Just wanted to show you. It it does run uh, Super Nintendo games without even having to blow into them, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, some of these things... Well, this actual console uh, it was a little dusty, you know? So that's probably why I'm having to blow into them. But usually, guys, I'm letting you know I really don't have to blow into my games. They're pretty, they're pretty good, and I keep them clean with the one-up cards and stuff. So they're not so bad. Just wanted to try that. So now let's go ahead and and let's try the NES. Let's see if the NES player works. I don't want to make the video super long because. It could be with all the things it plays. All right, so here's the game I'm going to try. And I'm going to put that in here first. And then I'm going to put this in there. Okay, so that's on. Went inside. Feels heavy, though. Now I'm going to grab this. 
Man, it is hot in here. My AC's on, it's still hot, guys. So let me try getting this to work. All right, guys, so I got it working. I don't know, this game did not want to run, but this is not an ordinary uh, game. If I actually have an NES converter inside of here, so this is an actually a super, uh, I mean, a Famicom game. And then I have that into an adapter and it's built into this game. I made this myself. So maybe it's not compatible with that adapter. So I grabbed another one of my cartridges that have a ton of games on them. And we'll go from there. Try this one. Okay. Ninja Turtles, here it is. And it is, it's playing it, guys. It just won't play this one. It's not compatible, I guess, with my converter. It's a little low on NES, too, guys. Oh, wow, that looks pretty good. Well, I don't know. I guess this is pretty good still in the year 2022. It's not too bad. I just wish it had an IPS screen, and then it'd be really, really good. But uh, it looks like this is some sort of TFT screen or something. Wow, this thing plays pretty good. Nice. Let's go ahead and reset. Okay. Let's go to the last game. Okay, press start. It's a pretty cool game, guys. Uh, this cartridge has a lot of good games. Just the only thing, guys, it looks like AV cables. It doesn't have no high definition when it comes to some, some of the consoles you decide to play. Some of them are not so good, guys. Like this NES looks like it's uh, being played through audio video cables. Let's see if I can try to get this better for you guys. There we go. Okay, that one worked. Press reset again. Play one more game. And that's pretty much it, guys. So it's not too bad of a console. It's crazy the way it plays so much, guys. And it's a really unique console with you even being able to set it down and, and use the actual controller with it so it, you can actually use it like a gaming system kind of like a switch sort of you know because you get to connect your your uh, controllers to it and they can be wireless so that's pretty good i do not know how to play Gaiden at all guys i suck at this so i don't know why i chose it so that's pretty much the end of this one guys i will put on a super nintendo game for it right now just to uh, let it play uh, let me go ahead and do that all right guys so I got I got that one running on there looks pretty good but I don't know I think it still looks better guys with the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy games Oops. So you guys see it runs pretty good. It's not too bad of a console. It's it's actually pretty good. I just didn't really care for the screen too much. I guess because it was not in high definition. But uh it looks pretty good. It it'll get the job done more than get the job done, you know? I'm just being picky. I guess because I have so many IPS screens now, I guess that's all you want. You become an IPS snob. Oh, 
here's a game that I suck at. Not really a big Mario fan. I mean, I love Mario, but uh, my daughters are the ones that play this game. They're better at it. As a matter of fact, almost every girl I know is pretty good at this game. Oh, see that died on the first level. So that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. Bought it on Amazon, I think, for like 80 bucks. It was on sale, so I jumped on it. Not bad. I'll leave a link just in case you want to check out its specs or you want to maybe get one yourself. I, I believe they sell for around the same price. I don't know. Inflation could have made it go up to 100 bucks, but uh, it does play a lot. And the screen is okay. And with you being able to connect your own uh, controller wirelessly, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And it does have that stand. But uh, mine's broke, guys, so I can't use it anymore. So that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. I will be back with some more videos. I'm actually messing around with uh, one of these handhelds, these old China ones. I got it to run some uh, PlayStation. I was going to make a video of it running PlayStation. You know, a lot of people can't afford all these great handhelds. And that handheld is pretty good, pretty good price, pretty good size. And it plays uh, not a whole bunch of PlayStation, but it... it it plays a little bit. So I was going to do the video on that since it's like super hot outside right now. It's like 108 over here. It was 108 yesterday. It's 108 again. So that's the RDP guide. Guys, made by Retrobit. Pretty nice console. Pretty nice. So, alright guys. So I'll be back with some more videos soon. So thanks a lot for watching this.